Yes, good morning, Monty. How are you doing? Um, how does it feel preparing for a game without the pressure of trying to qualify for the finals now that's done? Uh, to be honest, it doesn't really uh, alter our preparation. We prepare every game to go out and, and, and win the game and put in a, a performance. So look, it's obviously nice to, to know we're in the finals, but we're still fighting for possible fourth position. So we'll approach the game as, as usual. That's right. I mean, when you look at the league, uh, your team and probably Melbourne Victory are the two teams who are, have got a lot of momentum. Is that an important thing to keep going, obviously, before the finals as well? Ah, look, positive results are always good. It breeds confidence, but not momentum's momentum. We you know I think we've been uh, well, we've been on form this last you know 12, 13 games, but it doesn't really mean anything. You know, it's, uh, every game is different, and we're playing against a team tomorrow night. It's a local derby. They don't have anything to play for, so you know, there's there's yeah, there's, there's you know, for us, it's a home game. We're expecting a big crowd, so you know, we're looking forward to, to putting on a performance. Yeah, you played them just recently and it was a real scrap, wasn't it? And is this a bit of a danger game because it's kind of a free shot for them, isn't it? Yeah, it's a derby, you know. A lot of the time they always say form goes out the window, but I think our, our, in our previous two results against the Jets away from home, um, you know, six points and, and yeah, of course they'll be looking to come and spoil the party and no doubt there'll be fireworks. It was, you know, people talking about the last derby is the best game of the season, so... Hopefully, you know, there'll be plenty of people watching it on TV and it can be a, a good product for, for everybody watching. Well, unfortunately, Jacob Farrell might be one of those people um, watching the game instead of playing. Um, a, a big loss, obviously, he's had a, a cracking first year. Yeah, he's had a cracking first year. He's, uh, he's got two and two goals against the Jets as well. So I told him, uh, yeah, he obviously didn't want his hat trick this, <laughs> this week. Uh, but no, he's been fantastic. Can't, can't praise him enough, you know. But saying that, I think it's a good time for him to have a rest. It's been a really heavy schedule. So, you know, he gets his suspension out of the way and he's, he's ready for finals. So, yeah, you know, we've got plenty of boys fighting fighting to play. And I'll be side on the team tomorrow. Yeah, well, uh, is Dan Hall available or how is his knee going? Or you have to have a reshuffle, no doubt. Yeah, look, we'll have a look. Dan's, you know, Dan's, uh, he's desperate to, to, to play. But yeah, we'll have a look. We won't take any risk with with anyone that's, that's struggling with knocks. Um, but yeah, fortunately, I think for Dan, it was just a little bit of a bad knock on his knee, and, and um, yeah, fortunately, it looks like it's yeah, there's nothing too sinister there. Okay, great. Well, um, a couple of weeks ago, I think you said the secret's out with Grant Qual. It's uh, he's only gone and scored two more winning goals since then. Um, uh, is it a bit of a balancing act for you because you don't want to talk him up too much but he's obviously full of confidence at the moment uh, well it was one winning goal against Weston um, the Brisbane game was 2-0 so yeah he put the icing on the cake in Brisbane but ah, look he's like I've said he's, he's not fully fit he, you know, he missed six or seven weeks with a knee injury um, off the bench he's, he's he put a massive impact in he's, he's still learning so yeah he's you know, <laughs> like you said it's, it's clear for everybody to see he's, he's a potent weapon in front of goal and, and yeah he's a fantastic kid as well and very humble and you know he's taking this all in his stride there's a lot of people talking about him but you know, we keep knocking him back down to earth like we did with his brother uh, Alo after what he did last year so yeah it's, uh, he's got good people around him and yeah he's you know he's excited for his uh, his first sort of you know finals football as well okay and i think is it, apart from Alo, he's got two other brothers who play right um and are they in the academy are you calling them uh, regularly are you sending them movie tickets or something to sign them up Nah, look, he's over brother Tengs in, in, in the academy at the minute. Um, yeah, he's, he's still developing and he's got a really young brother who, yeah, he's, uh, you know, he's definitely uh, one that we'll be bringing in when he's old enough. I think he's about 12 years old now. Um, but yeah, very, very talented as well. And yeah, no doubt, uh, you know, no doubt when the time comes, he'll be, uh, be following the footsteps of his brothers, his brothers in the you know, academy. So uh, first of all, congrats on making the finals. A big, it's a, you know, a big achievement in your first year as coach. So throughout this year, you've talked a lot about the goals for you and your, your team. One was to make the, the, F, the FFA Cup, uh, the, the, um, yeah, make the final, and the other one was to reach the finals for the A-League. So now that you've reached the finals, what's the motivation for the team? Ah, pretty obvious motivation is is we're fighting for the championship, you know, the same as every team that 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 that, that makes it into the top six. So we haven't achieved anything. You know, you mentioned then we got to the FFA Cup final, seven hundred teams, we got to the last two and you know, it unfortunately missed out to Melbourne Victory and, and I thought we deserve we deserve more from that game. It was a you know, it was a very young team that, that went on that cup run and that was the first time the club's ever been in the cup final, so a massive uh, achievement for the club. But yeah, top six is, is what everybody's fighting for at the start of the year and once you're in there, 
you know, anything can happen. So yeah, we, you know, we, we approach every game. We don't fear anybody and, and we're looking forward to it. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, there's another milestone uh, in the on the cards. It's been a while, I believe since 2013, since the Mariners have won five games in a row. Is that motivating you moving into this last game of the season? Look, I think there's many records that this team's broken this season uh, for a very young team to, to break a lot of records. You know, in Brisbane the other night, the first time we beat him, first time we beat Brisbane for eight years, the first time ever in the club's history, back to back. So that's just two off of the records that we've broken, um, and uh, it's testament to the group and the players and the coaching staff that you know we, we, you know, we to be honest, records are there to be broken. You know, so uh, you know, we always set the boys a challenge, and that's every week to go out, get uh, number one, give everything, give it 100, percent and and try and win the game. And and they do that every week, and I think you've seen that home and away. We can, uh, you know, we can compete with anybody, but football's football, and you know, we we don't we don't go on what's happened in the past. We go on what's the next game, and that's tomorrow night against the Jets in a, an F3 derby. Mm. How important is it, do you think, to win that last game of the season? I mean, to go into the finals with a win last on your cards, and for you, it would be five wins in a row. Look, every game is important to, to win. You know? That's why you're in football and sport. You try and win every game, so it doesn't make any difference to maybe it's three wins, four wins, five wins. Obviously, that's nice, and that'll be a, a statistic if we get it that, that you know the club will look back on. But yeah, we don't we don't look at it like that. We just look at approaching every game they're exactly the same way. And if we stick to the game plan and we play the way we can, we know we've got every chance of coming out with a result. Mm. Okay, and of course, there's a home final you're in contention for with a win here, depending on other results. Is that another? Is that something which you're sort of playing into your into the training pitch leading into this game? Uh, not really. You know, we uh, like I said to you then, we've we've been away at Wellington, Newcastle, West <laughs> Western Sydney, Western United, and and and, and picked up results. So you know, it doesn't matter whether away or at home. In fact, at home, it's it's great for the fans. You know, it's great to have your home fans. That's that's normal and, and I think these fans deserve it. They missed out on an FFA Cup final, which we thought we had a good chance to have, you know, a home final at the stadium. That that didn't that didn't uh, materialise unfortunately. Um but yeah, look, we uh, you know we, we don't rely on anybody else all season, whether that's officials, other teams, uh, it doesn't matter. We just we concentrate on ourselves and where we'll, where we end up is, is is where we end up and we'll be prepared for whatever whatever uh, that that is. So uh, you know, you're in the finals now. Uh, it's a different ball game. Uh, does it shift your tactics at all, or do you sort of stick to the same game plan which you have been all season? Well, we definitely don't have the same game plan all season. You know, the game plans, um, you know, is on the opposition that we play against. So yeah, we'll approach every game the same way. We'll we'll look at the the opposition that we're playing. You know, and then whether that's the Jets tomorrow or whoever it is in the finals, and we'll we'll have a game plan. And you know, we do concentrate on on the way we play more than anything. So yeah, we'll be we'll be ready and we'll be prepared, and, and we'll go out and give everything.